Initially, the Netherlands imposed sanctions on Huawei, proclaiming that they would no longer engage with China. However, before three months, witnessing Huawei's noteworthy achievements, the Netherlands had a change of heart. The country expressed its intention to enter into agreements with China once again. This shift in behavior prompts several questions. What were the driving forces behind this sudden change in attitude? Were there external influences that catalyzed the Netherlands' decision to renew their collaboration with China? Interestingly, the Netherlands was not alone in this endeavor, as Japan also indicated its desire to rekindle its working relationship with China. Experts suggest that the sudden pivot in behavior from these nations sheds light on the pressures they face to ostracize Chinese technology. It appears that these countries were somewhat reluctant to impose sanctions, but were perhaps manipulated into doing so. The rationale behind the Netherlands' decision seems to be multifaceted and concealed from the public. But who exactly orchestrated these moves? Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. Sanctions are a predicament that no nation wishes to face. However, few countries have successfully navigated through these challenging times, with China standing out as a prime example. In the dynamic global landscape of technology and telecommunications, China's semiconductor industry has encountered numerous challenges, primarily due to restrictions and sanctions imposed by Western powers. The challenges were significant, including the United States blocking chip technology and the Netherlands ban on high-end lithography machines. Despite these hurdles, China, with Huawei at the forefront, demonstrated remarkable resilience and innovative prowess, making significant strides in the realm of 5G chips. China's ascendancy in the technological sector, spearheaded by giants like Huawei, has been viewed with apprehension by Western nations, notably the United States. The rapid strides China has made across various sectors have not only caused consternation, but also raised doubts regarding the U.S. technological capabilities. This anxiety has been a catalyst for concerted efforts by the Western world to curb China's meteoric growth, with a significant spotlight on the semiconductor field. Huawei, in recent years, has notched up remarkable accomplishments. It navigated adeptly around the blockade imposed by the U.S., on Google's mobile phone system and launched the Hongming OS system. Furthermore, Huawei has independently crafted a versatile cloud service platform that is embraced across various sectors including businesses, governments, and individuals, thereby cementing its pivotal role in digital transformation strategies worldwide. The astonishing pace of China's development has, seemingly, matched decades of American effort within a few short years, leading the U.S and its allies to institute a series of suppressive measures and sanctions against China, focusing particularly on the semiconductor industry. However, as observed by the East Asia Forum, these sanctions will scarcely impede China's ambitious plans. Over recent years, the U.S. coerced its allies, including Japan, into agreements that sought to limit China's growth in high-end semiconductor technologies. There was also collaboration with the Netherlands to restrict the export of crucial technology and equipment to China, including a ban on high-end lithography machines. These sanctions were expected to pose formidable challenges to Chinese technology companies, especially in the fierce competition on the global stage. However, in response to these challenges, China has employed a unique and strategic approach to counter the sanctions and restrictions imposed by Western powers. A key strategy has been China's control over essential minerals like gallium and germanium, which are indispensable in semiconductor manufacturing. By exerting export controls on these vital resources, China has managed to disrupt the semiconductor industry in the Netherlands, which is heavily reliant on these materials. Before continuing further, it is essential to understand how China, despite facing sanctions, was able to foster growth among its technology companies. By wielding control over rare mineral resources, crucial for semiconductor manufacturing, China has significant leverage in negotiations with Western nations. Implementation of export restrictions on these minerals not only impeded the semiconductor industry in the Netherlands, but also had repercussions for major American industries dependent on these resources. Consequently, this strategic move allows China to persistently develop semiconductors while influencing key industries by regulating access to these resources. 
One of the standout achievements in this domain has been by Huawei. Despite enduring sanctions for over a thousand days, Huawei showcased China's resilience with significant breakthroughs in the semiconductor arena. The unveiling of the Mate 60 Pro, armed with the advanced Kirin 9000 chip and 7 nanometer chip technology, marked a significant milestone. This achievement underlines China's successful navigation around technological blockades imposed by Western nations, paving the way for mass production of 5G chips. The initiation of mass production of 5G chips by China carries profound implications for the global semiconductor market. It is not only a testament to China's scientific and technological prowess on the global stage, but also an illustration of its capacity to withstand external pressures. Moreover, it underscores the inefficacy of the sanction plans orchestrated by the United States in alliance with Japan and the Netherlands. A noteworthy development ensuing China's breakthrough in the semiconductor industry is the Netherlands' altered stance towards China, SML. The Dutch lithography machine giant has expressed its willingness for China to recommence imports of high-end lithography machines, signaling a reversal in its earlier position. This shift in approach raises questions regarding the motivations underpinning the Netherlands' policy adjustments. What factors have contributed to the Netherlands' willingness to re-engage with China in the semiconductor sector? The answer may lie in examining the economic interest at play. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video and comment. The decision of the Netherlands to seek renewed cooperation with China within the semiconductor sector can primarily be understood through the lens of economic interests. In the past, the Netherlands had stopped selling high-end lithography machines to China, aligning with U.S. sanctions. However, this cessation didn't yield any beneficial outcomes for the Netherlands. Instead, it resulted in substantial financial losses. ASML, a dominant entity in the lithography machine industry, generates a significant portion of its revenue from high-end lithography machines, the halt in sales to China, which typically procures about six high-end lithography machines annually, led to approximately $2.05 billion in lost revenue for ASML. This financial downturn, coupled with China's triumphant advancements in semiconductor technology, prompted ASML to alter its strategy, advocating for a resumption in cooperation with China. China's response to ASML's overture for renewed collaboration hinges significantly on the Dutch government's approach. The Netherlands chooses to engage China proactively and amicably, fostering cooperation while maintaining cordial relations with Western nations. There is a possibility that China might consider acquiring Dutch lithography machines again. However, if the Netherlands decides to align with Western nations in imposing sanctions on China, ASL might find itself on the potential blacklist, leading to a termination of cooperation. The unfolding scenario around China's semiconductor industry offers valuable insights and lessons. It underscores the limitations and inefficacy of using joint sanctions as a diplomatic tool. Far from hindering China's developmental trajectory, these sanctions have inadvertently catalyzed its growth. China's experience in navigating through these challenges underscores the importance of international cooperation in today's era of globalization. It's a poignant reminder that collaborative efforts often led to mutual benefits. The semiconductor revolution, led by China, characterized by breakthroughs in 5G chip production, and the shift in stance by countries like the Netherlands, marks a pivotal turning point in global technology dynamics. China's resilience amid sanctions has not only showcased its innovation and technological advancement capacities, but also underscored the pivotal role of international cooperation and engagement in yielding positive outcomes. The dynamics of global technology are shifting with China's breakthrough in 5G chip production and the Netherlands' subsequent policy reversal serving as significant markers of change. In a world increasingly interconnected and reliant on technological collaboration, the mutual benefits derived from shared technological progress and collaboration are becoming unmistakably evident. And as China continues to forge ahead in the semiconductor arena, the global landscape is inevitably transforming, presenting opportunities for cooperation and growth that transcend borders. For nations to truly capitalize on the business and economic prospects available, Working harmoniously with China is not just an option, but a necessity for ensuring a robust economic future. The countries currently imposing sanctions on China need to acknowledge and reassess their positions, understanding that they are engaging with challenges that might be insurmountable without cooperative engagement. 
At this juncture, we would like to express our appreciation for your active participation, comments, and sharing of your valuable opinions. Your insights have been not only impressive, but also instrumental in fostering a dynamic and engaging discussion. Nobs, we reflect on the unfolding global scenario. Several questions emerge. Is the U.S. finding itself in an unfortunate position when competing with China? Why do all its meticulously crafted plans seem to falter? Is it a matter of inadequate planning on the U.S. part, or is it indicative of China's adeptness at navigating through and overcoming challenges? Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video, and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.